So, for Elizabeth first, I'm going to start with her nose. Two little eyes. Little mouth. And because people in El rich people in Elizabethan times ate so much sugar, we're going to give her some manky teeth. Make some little eyebrows. And we can do a little ear like that. Down. Along. Another ear. Down. And join it there. And we can add some little pearl earrings. And then move on to her wig. So lots of little squiggles. Don't have to be very neat. Maybe an odd hair there. We can add a crown. Next we're going to do a rough. So if we start by her neck and come down and then come back up and lots and lots of little squiggles all the way down to give that frilly effect on her ruff. Same again this side. Long. And lots of little squiggles. Next we can give her some necklaces. Top of her dress, a long and down into a point, a long and back up again. So she has a little waist because she would have worn a corset. And then we can add some more squiggles just to give the impression of little details, finery, sequins, that sort of thing. come to her hands. Like that. And another like so. Give us some cuffs. A bit like the rough to give that frilly feel more squiggles. Then for the arms, come down here, down, and join. And the same on this side, down, and join. And because she would have worn really big, puffy sleeves, you can come out halfway up here, and out, round, back in again. Out. Back in again. Maybe give some little sequins again. Again that sort of finery. Next we're going to draw the top of her dress, so come out and then behind, out again, all the way over, then a long squiggly line, do the same again this side, out, under, 
And you could add some more finery again. Maybe a jewel. And another. For the dress, it's been a really wide flowing dress, so you can come all the way down. And then again, along like this. join up there. Maybe add a bit of trim as well. Like that. Next you can add some folds in the dress. So just go down. Big sweeping marks. Maybe fill in the trim with a few squiggles. Bit of fancy detail. Then you can add a little shoes. Come back up to the rough and out all the way down and then behind there. So out all the way down behind again there and again more little. lines to give the idea of all that finery, all that lace, sequins, that kind of thing. The colouring in takes a while so we're going to speed this bit up. You can colour in at your own pace and I'll give you a few tips along the way. I'm leaving her face white rather than colouring it in because she used to wear a thick white makeup made of lead and vinegar. So I'm using orange to fill in Elizabeth's hair because she was ginger like her, her father Henry VIII. I'm using gold here as it's very regal and just adding more of those little details, those little squiggles. Thank you. 